Hello everyone, my name is Brian and I have an online business called McDuff's Cool Stuff where I buy and sell things mostly on eBay and other venues such as uh, my own website. And today we're going to talk about some of the more frustrating problems that you can come up with with dealing with photos and trying to upload um, them onto eBay. And uh, we're going to talk about the size of the photos, how to fix size issues, and how to remove backgrounds and get all the photos looking good and so you can avoid all some of the common errors that you might get when you try to upload photos. So let's take a look at a couple techniques that hopefully will really help you out. Now one of the problems you might have with eBay photos is their size. And eBay wants you to have photos that are 500 pixels on at least one side of the photo. So I'm going to drop a photo in here to show you what happens. This one is under 500 pixels wide on any side, not just the width. It could be 500 this way, or it could be 500 wide or tall. One of them has to equal 500. So the only way that you can do this would really just be to stretch out, make the photo larger. But how do you do that? So I'm using a Mac here. So the uh, the procedure would be to use a program that's called Preview. So if you just double click uh, your average photo, most of the time it's going to open up in Preview. And Preview is just a, a very basic um, editor and viewer for files. It, you can view all sorts of different images right, right here in one spot. And you have some control over it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make this photo larger. And all you do is you go up to the Tools menu and pull down where it says Adjust Size. And I'm going to make the size of this photo 500 on one side. And you see that automatically adjusts the height and the width. And you want to make sure this little lock button is set here. Don't unlock it because then if you make this 500, it'll stretch it just 500 on just the width, but would leave the height alone and it would be kind of goofy looking, be kind of stretched out. So now I made the photo larger. And just make, make sure you go up here and save that photo. Now I'll go drag it back in here again. And you see that the photo doesn't give us any errors. So that's one issue that you can take care of very simply using the built-in programs that come with your Mac. Now another problem that you may run into with photos is the background. And when you saw the picture of the Donny uh, Osmond doll here, I'll bring that up for you, you can see that, and I opened it up in preview again, you can see that there's a lot of information in the background that you really don't necessarily want in there. And so you can do a couple of different things. If you're running the latest uh, system software for your computer, then you should be able to remove the background pretty easily, but it's not always perfect. You Sometimes you need to go to outside software to do this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can do it. So if you open up the image in preview, you can go up to tools one more time and you can pull down remove background. So let's try, and it kind of shows you what's going to happen. You see that white line going around it? It's going to show you what it's going to look like. What is it going to come out, cut out? So I'm going to remove the background from it. And it's going to, depending on what you started with, it's going to convert it to a PNG file. And there it is. It looks pretty good. Now eBay also prefers that your photos have a white background. And this is not just because they're being weird about it or something like that, but it just shows up better, especially if you're using a mobile device like a phone or a pad. So let's take this image and put a white background on it the easy way. And what that basically does is you're just going to be taking the image and you're going to be uh, changing it, the file type. And when you change this to a JPEG, it's going to automatically put a white background in the back in, in there for you. So I'm going to take the photo and I'm going to export it. And I'm going to export it as a JPEG. So make sure it says JPEG right there. I bumped this up to best. And you see the file size is still very small, 131 kilobytes. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to open that one up for you. So you can see what that looks like. I'll bring it over here for you. And you see that same one has a nice white background there, which looks pretty good. You know, it's too bad I got this tag in here. This is the tag from the antique shop where I took the photo. 
And this one would work really well, so I'm going to drop it in here just so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. So, And there it is. And there's uh, Donny Osmond ready, ready for sale. And, of course, you'd want to take more photos of it than just that. So that actually solves two problems with eBay photos, the size and also uh, the background and trying to remove some of the conflicting information and also the file size. If you leave the file size huge, you know, um, maybe eight or nine megabytes or even larger, uh, it's it just takes forever for the photos to upload. So this is a good way to kind of speed up your whole process, especially if you have a lot of photos to upload. eBay does prefer that your photos are square, and this has to do with uh, using a mobile device like a phone or a tablet. Uh, when people buy things off of eBay, uh, more times than not, they're buying them uh, off of their phone. And the phone app will show the images in square format. Now, you can leave your images as a rectangle like this one is shown here. The disadvantage is that it's going to change the photo a bit. It's either going to make it smaller or it's going to cut it down to a square shape in the app. So I think it's always best if you have control over that so your images don't, well, they turn out exactly how you want them. Not having some other uh, part, it might cut off the head, for example, some other part cut off. So you don't want that. So here's how you would fix it. You would go to the Photos app and then find your picture and double click it and open it up. Then go over here to the Edit button in the upper right hand corner and click Edit. Move over to where it says Crop. And you can just, you know, crop it down manually and try and square it up, but there's actually a square preset over here for you, as well as others. So I'll click on square, and you can see that this might happen if you were to leave their photos a rectangle and someone looks at it on their phone, it would kind of cut it off. And this is not terribly bad there, but you do want it the whole image to be shown. So what you can do is just drag the image down like this so that you get some more of the uh, face involved. And I suppose what I would do in this case is to maybe back it up a little bit or to take a second photo of the bottom half of the item as well. Well, when you're done setting it up how you want, then you can go ahead and click the Done button, and you're all set, ready to go. You can actually even use this app, the Photos app, to remove the background. And so we can uh, do that within here, or we can do it in other apps. You can do it in Preview, too. And it will all give you about the same result as well. So hopefully this will help you out, everybody. You want your photos looking good so that people will be attracted to your product and it gives them a little bit more confidence that you know what you're doing. If the photos are sideways or there's um, things cropped off of it or things missing or there's not enough of them, people will tend to shy away from things like that in favor of uh, a listing that has more information, better photos. It just looks a lot better um, in that whole respect there. So hopefully this video helped you out, everybody. If you have any other further questions, you can always put them in the comments below, and I'll respond to you as soon as I receive them. And just remember to take good photos, use the best lighting that you can, square them up, make sure they're the right size, and then you should have a lot more success when it comes to selling items on eBay. And thanks for watching.